Alright, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is K. Michael Russell. I am a comic book colorist. Welcome to my YouTube channel. As you guys can see from my fancy title, uh, this is going to be a critique video. So, uh, this page we're going to be looking at today is from uh, Randall, and the line art is by Jonathan Brandon Sawyer. And I thought this page uh, had a lot of good examples of common problems that a lot of you guys are probably dealing with. So. Uh, all stuff that I used to do as well. So, uh, um, so I'm just gonna kind of jump right into this. Now, I'm gonna zoom out for a second so we can see the whole thing. There is uh, the whole page uh, sort of has a red uh, overlay or kind of the overall uh, color of the page is red, and it, and, and it, pretty much every panel is like that, um, except for maybe the uh, the first one over here. But um, now I don't I don't have the script for this, but there's some locations that are changing here and so right off the bat you want to make sure that you're delineating those out that you're separating the locations I'm not going to talk a whole lot about the rendering on this today um, the rendering is pretty solid um, as far as the actual where the light and shadows are and that kind of thing and that's all uh, well and good but unfortunately and, and if you guys have watched my channel for very long you know the rendering doesn't really matter as much as the storytelling in the page. You know, do we help to get the page to read? Does it make sense? On this one, we've got him down an alley here. Okay, he's on the street here. And we've got like a bedroom scene here. I don't really know what's going on there. I want to make sure that's obviously three different things going on there, three different places. In this case, uh, now this is going to be kind of ugly. It's not going to be, uh, it's going to be quick and dirty. All right, so I'm just gonna put a color layer over that. Now, um, now this is not, I'm not telling you guys to do this to separate all your pages out, but um, even the time between the time he's down that alley and the time to the street, there's some time passing. And so I would probably do something to make sure that that's clear, uh, clearer anyway. And you got the big fire, so you've got an excuse to do something dramatic like this. Very orange or red or yellow or whatever. That's one way you can quickly separate that from the first two. Now for the last one, I've got this green glowy stuff. I don't know. She's disappearing. I don't know what's happening. So I'm going to do the same thing down here, except I'm going to do it like in a green color maybe or a blue color or something like that. Uh, and this is not perfect because I'd want some of that green to come through and it's not right now But just to give you guys a quick example of, of where to start uh, the palette anyway And and you could shift this uh, you know you could shift it more green you could saturate it more you could desaturate it Whatever you want to do here uh, to make that uh, work would be fine um, Now as a side note I these last couple of panels There's some really really dark areas in the backs of these panels so um, uh, even though it's night and we want it to appear to be dark, um, you can do that with color schemes as opposed to just getting a really, really dark color. Um, this is not really going to print that well. There's a lot of black in that color. Um, so what I would probably do is go into uh, levels or something or, or curves or whatever you're comfortable with. It doesn't really matter. And just brighten that up. Um, I won't go crazy with it, but something like that. So you guys can kind of see uh, it works, even though it's a lot brighter. I'm doing something like that. All right, so now I've got three really strong locations. All right, so I've kind of solved that problem uh, in a very rough way anyway. Now, getting into some of the panel specifics on these. In the second panel here, the... The red in this panel, there's a lot of warm things going on in this panel, okay? All of the major, the major character here, he's pretty much red. Um, this background is a very warm, warm uh, brownish purple color, but it's very close to this color in the shadows on his jacket. So he's really not kind of, I hate that cliche of popping, but he's really not popping away from the from the background. The foreground, which is him, is not set, is not separated from the background there. So this whole section sort of reads, uh, looking at it from a small, uh, you know, stepping back from a bit, it all kind of reads as one shape. 
um, she's also that red color so you can even lump her in now everything else in this panel in the background is cool and I don't mean cool like it's cool daddy-o like it's cool colors so when you've got a bunch of warm okay we got a lot of warm going on here and you've got one cool thing guess what's gonna stand out the cool thing and in this case you don't really want it to stand out because it's just a TV it's a TV on the, on in the background so it's not that important uh, to the scene so uh, there's a lot of ways you could go about I mean there's there's probably 50 ways you could go about arranging this panel um, to give you a quick example um, you could take um, just a brighter rendering color or a different rendering color that is uh, and I'm going to do this really quick this is not going to be uh, this is not going to be like attractive or anything but if I go in just to show you like maybe the, the value range that we're talking about here um, something like this okay so if I back off that uh, that's pulling him away from that a little bit more and I would probably do something different with this uh, dark area back here different color there if you went uh, cooler or something uh, just to make a grab a color here uh, went cooler something like this then you see how much he really he stands out now against that and you could push that even further by getting rid of a lot of the warm stuff behind him um, that's one example like I said one of many you could probably do with that but um, well, that's something to keep in mind when it comes to warm and cool colors if a cool color is surrounded by warm colors it looks even cooler so it sticks out even more and the same thing is also true the opposite if you had a really cool panel and like one blue thing that blue things are there one warm panel and one blue thing that's really going to stick out against all the warm so either way and I think I may have just said the same thing twice <laughs> either way uh, it works the same way make him the only thing in that panel whatever color you make him or close to it anyway uh, now you could also to get kind of picky you could do some color holds back here on um, on the on the TV just to make it really clear that uh, you know it's it's kind of it's it's lit and it's backlit and um, and it looks like most of the glows are under the lines on this as another side note that's something else that you could probably tweak pretty easily uh, so anyway that's about all for that panel this panel took me a while to figure out why he still seems a little buried in this panel he's a little bit lost in this panel and it took me it took me a, a probably five minutes of staring at it to figure out exactly what's happening here um, and I think I figured it out at least this is my two cents anyway the background behind him for the most part down here is all pretty dark okay it's all dark colors and on him himself the darkest parts of his uh, his whole body are the jacket and the uh, the pants and all of this is pretty much darker okay on the other hand let me switch colors because why not you got the light where his hand is he's lighter on his skin and look what's behind those areas it's more light areas okay so you end up with a sort of light strip here and then a dark area here and he's kind of lost in there uh, a little bit so uh, there is a lot of things you could do here um, again to separate those so I'm going to show you a couple of just easy ones real quick so let's say that I do I do like the warm background um, those cool windows those blue windows do something else there um, instead of a blue color keep it a different warm color because again in that whole panel it's a very warm warm panel pretty much the entire panel is warm except for those windows so again they're really sticking out in this panel um, so what I'm gonna do here real quick how do I want to do this I'm gonna select the background here and I don't have the flats for this actually so I'm just gonna do this very quickly it's gonna be rough something like that okay and let me pick another different color and we'll do what do I want to do overlay let's see we can do overlay you could I'm, I'm playing around with layer modes here um, 
vivid light interesting look lots of different options here just a good old color layer in here somewhere but pretty makes it pretty much makes it all the same color um, but you could do something like overlay and now he is kind of popping out against that background a bit more and you could really sell this depending on the look of the book and how graphic uh, of a style you want uh, you can see like he really stands out against all that blue now because you don't have the distracting warm colors around him this is my take on this <laughs> you can ask 10 colors and get 10 answers but something like this or in the ballpark of this would make that panel work a whole lot better and i don't want you guys to think that i'm saying just do all this your colors in the background the same color that's not really what i'm saying um, what i would actually do if i were doing this is i would pick colors that were sort of analogous to that blue and use that in the background so i might go grab a little bit more of a, of a navy for certain places. Okay, maybe like this building here and some of this stuff. Uh, just kind of throwing this around, Bob Ross style. Um, and maybe I want to go grab something a little more into the purple. And I could pick up like a purplish color and go back here and do something a little bit different. Um, and then I could shift around a little bit more, maybe more, more toward the pink. Now we're getting into some warm territory, so I'm, I'm going to be a little careful and what I'm doing here but I would pick something that uh, you know that, that it's all kind of in the same family you know what I mean um, and you could do highlight little small areas that may be different colors or different things but um, but now again he's the only warm thing in the panel and that, and that page works pretty well that panel works a little bit better but, uh, anyway it's a much clearer page now uh, even if I zoom way out of this now again I'd probably want to put make these two uh, these two panels like the same color scheme but right now they're not but I've got my locations delineated and even from way away when I'm you know holding the page at arm's length I can't even read the text anymore maybe I could still tell there's location changes this guy is important in the middle you know, this guy's important here. I'll be able to tell those things a lot simpler, a lot, uh, a lot easier. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, critique. Uh, I like doing these when I have time. So I'm sort of between deadlines on a couple of books and thought I would do this for you guys real quick. If you guys like this sort of thing, I do them in my course for all of my students. So be sure to uh, check that out. There's a link in the description. Everything that gets posted gets, uh, gets a critique. If this is something you guys are interested in, be sure to check that out. Um, subscribe to the channel uh, as always and if you like the video give it a thumbs up take care i will see you guys in the next one